everyone and welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida and today we are going to be doing our paycheck budget. I know, I know, I know. Y'all, I had to make a schedule and y'all, I broke my glass thing again and I just got to find another one. But anyway, let's get started on today's budget for this week. We, the week is, um, let me go to my calendar. I know we're about to be in February, so it will be January the 29th through February. Um, fourth. Okay. So first we have hair. For hair, this is my slow week. I don't even know what to do. I'm just going to put $700. And then for Norris Cove, I just put no co. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell because we're going to be releasing some new products. We're going to be adding the extras from the box and we will, the subscriptions come out. But it, everybody don't always pay their subscriptions. So it could just be a little, you know, I don't know. I'll do 600 Now, I put this down, but my if you're not new here i don't really spend this money it is not mine it goes back to the business we're not making a profit from it it is what it is okay but so total income we're going to put down 1300 down here i'm just going to put total i don't think i'm going to sell anything this week but i'm going to put miscellaneous and then just in case but so for right now we just have 1300 dollars Again, we need to work with the 700 here. We have to pay for our website that was actually due last week. Um, so go daddy. And I think the prices went up. I'm just going to budget for $40. Okay. Next up, we have booth rent that will be due on the third. I'm just going to put the important things down. And that is two fifty. Um, on the first, we have C and P, which I'm about to get rid of. They're about forty eight dollars. On the second, I have Amazon. I think that's. I'm just rounding it off to sixteen. I think it's fifteen seventy nine. Also on the second, we have Community, which I can't wait to pay them off, and they're thirty. On the 4th, we have Walmart. Sometimes Walmart is 28. I think the interest has gone up, so it may be a little bit more. Um, we're going to just put them down for 40. So, so far this week, we have GoDaddy, Booth Rent, CMP, Amazon, Community, Walmart. Now, I'm sure that I have some... Afterpays, well, it's not afterpay because I paid afterpay off for some of firms and all of that. I've done a whole breakdown of my debt and all that not so great stuff. I broke down the interest rates, but I'm going to do a whole video on how I plan to become credit card free, not necessarily debt free, um, and how I plan to pay things off and down. So I'm not putting those things here yet because if there's something left, then they'll get paid. If not, uh, it is what it is. So let's do some calculating. And I've got to set up February's budget. I'm a little late in the monthly budget part. Okay. So for right now, we have $424. Oh, also my gas is going to come out this week. That is expensive. So I'm going to put that over here. Um, I spent $66 on Saturday, but I know it's going to come out like on Monday. Um, so I'm going to put $67. Okay. Um, I need to get some products this week. I'm going to put $50 for hair. And like I said, that doesn't count. I'll probably do a separate whole budget for my um, 
business. 424. Okay. That's our total minus the 700. That leaves us for 276. So right here, I'm just going to put remaining. And that was something that I wanted to add to these inserts. So I'll know next year I'm adding remaining so that you can carry that budget over 200, that remaining balance over $276. Okay, 67 plus 50 is 117 over here. And we're going to subtract that from the 276. That leaves $159. So now um, I can see what I can use this for. So maybe one of those quad pays could get paid or anything like that. So again, we're not considering uh, Norse Cove because again, that is for you know, the business, which we do have some things to get, but I have a separate budget that I use that for. And I just may stop including it in here because like, I'm not using it. I'm, I'm only using it on a separate budget. So I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. Okay, so total income pretty much is 700 or we can do 13. Uh, total bills is 424 that we've budgeted for. Total expenses is 117. And sinking funds, that's the thing. Hmm. I just did a cash stuffing video, but it don't look like I had the money for it. But the money I did, the cash stuffing is always the end of the week. So, hmm. It's hard to tell. I guess we're not going to do that today. Let's do zero. Total debt payment. So we're going to just put uh, zero. And so the total of the bills. And this should be remaining, actually. I think I'm going to leave this as remaining. So that re remaining is 159. 159 so yeah my budget is kind of quick and to the point now you can use this for totaling up your bills or like I'm using it is remaining um again these will be totally different and there'll probably be new ones will be coming out probably around the summertime that'll take us into um 2025 so that is my weekly budget for January the 29th through February the 24th. If you have any questions about anything that I use today, most of my planner is from my shop. These paycheck budget sheets, I think they are listed below, but if not, you can find them on my website under budgeting. Um, yeah, under budgeting or new releases, um, or you can get the whole bundle. I have a video here on my channel. I'll try to remember to link it above where you can see me setting it up or going through uh, what the budget uh, bundle entails. Again, thank you all so much for watching. If you're new here, uh, welcome to the Cove. Do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe and comment and let me know that you are new here so that I can welcome you to the Cove and all the other Coveys can welcome you as well. If you have not subscribed, please do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.